The Lehigh Valley Dairy, with its distinctive Art Deco facade, was born in tough times and has been a part of the local landscape since 1934. Once called America's most beautiful dairy, it has been abandoned since 1989. Join us as we venture inside to see what remains before demolition. <sighs> The Lehigh Valley Cooperative Farmers created in 1934 by renovating a silk mill in the depths of the Great Depression. By 1944, over 800 farmers joined, increasing production to over 148,000 pounds. In 1947, the facility was expanded into a 321 square foot multi-story building on over 19 acres of land, including a complex of buildings. Along with milk, it produced cheese and ice cream. The complex featured a retail dairy bar and auditorium, often used to host local high school's graduations. In 1969, milk production was moved from the Allentown facility to a new facility in Lansdale, with the Allentown Dairy producing ice cream, cottage cheese, sour cream, and condensed milk. The dairy remained profitable into the early 1970s until it was discovered that financial corruption began with economic losses, the firing of its president, and negative attention to the business. It was discovered that political donations the dairy made was unknowingly used to silence burglars who broke into the Watergate Hotel. Locals refused to do business with the dairy because of the Watergate scandal. From 1974 to 1977, the Lehigh Valley Dairy reported losses of $5 million. In 1980, stockholders voted to dissolve the Lehigh Valley Cooperative and sell its assets to a new company named Atlantic Processing. In 1984, a 200,000 square foot facility in the back of the property was sold to Patrice Cheese, which operated a production plant separate from the dairy. By 1985, the dairy had assets exceeding $200 million and employed 950 workers. Johanna Farms purchased the Atlantic the following year and changed its name to Lehigh Valley Dairies. By then, John Labatt Limited, the Canadian brewer, had purchased Johanna. By 1989, the end had arrived and the Allentown plant was closed on January 27th. The vast majority of the 200 workers at the plant were laid off, the last 50 being transferred to the Lansdale facility at the end of March. The doors were locked on April 7th, 1989, and the dairy was put up for sale in May, and most of the internal equipment was dismantled and sold off. The cheese factory became part of Con Agra of Omaha, Nebraska in 1990. Under ConAgra, the plant specialized in mozzarella and provolone cheeses. In 2002, it was sold to Saputo of Montreal, Quebec. When purchasing the plant in 2002, Saputo Vice President of Communications Claude Pinard called it a good opportunity for us because it's a good deal. It annually produces 30 million pounds of cheese and can be integrated into our U.S. operations. However, in October of 2005, the cheese factory was closed with the loss of 115 jobs. It was bought in March of 2008 by Proteca, a vitamin company making protein drink products for health, sports, nutrition, and medical fields. The former dairy's complex of buildings were subdivided in the 1990s and parts were rented to various companies. Several businesses, including Olympic Pools and a transportation company, have used parts of the dairy over the years. Parts of the dairy south of the main entrance were torn down many years ago and the main entrance and office areas never found a buyer. Over the past 35 years, it has slowly deteriorated. Plans are still in the works and this fantastic part of our history is being taken down block by block. Thanks to Frank and LB Demolition for this opportunity to explore the Leah Valley Dairy. Until next time, explorers, stay safe.